Hi and welcome back to The Batch Lady. My name is Suzanne Mulholland, also known as The Batch Lady. And on The Batch Lady channel here, I want to show you how that you can make multiple meals or batches of food and you can make them fast, healthy, portion controlled, quick and get them in your freezer in advance, ready for whenever you need them. So when you come home from work, you can simply have something ready, waiting to be heated up. It is as simple as pie and all my recipes are very easy. Today, we are going to make not one, but two, because that's my motto, why make one when you can make two? This is all about time management and getting it done as quick as possible. So we are going to make something called bride's chicken. Okay, now bride's chicken is a really simple dish. It was called bride's chicken back in the day because it was designed for new brides that were coming. Um, it was designed for new brides that were getting married and didn't know how to cook and their mother would give them this recipe. So here we go. So last night, um, I just cooked off the chicken because I'm doing this early in the morning and I wanted it ready for you. So I've already cooked off the chicken and it was chicken breast. So six chicken breasts because I'm doubling the recipe. And all I did was just um, pull it apart. So just give it a bit of a shred with a fork. So this is going to make a serving of two, uh, of, um, two for four people each, okay? So we're going to use chicken, mayonnaise, some butter mushrooms, some soup, some lemon juice, uh, some curry powder and some broccoli. Okay, so I've got my chicken, which I just cooked off in the oven and I've got my broccoli, which is just cooking on the stove at the moment. And I'm just going to get it to be just al dente. Okay, so I don't want it really mushy because it's going to go in the freezer and then come back out and be reheated. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to put our chicken, our cooked chicken, already cooked in the bowl. And look, we even used some foil so we don't need to go and wash that pan. Okay, so we've got our cooked chicken. Next, we want to get our spoon. We'll use one of these. And we want to add in condensed soup, okay? So um, my recipe on my website shows mushroom or chicken condensed soup. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, so I'm gonna use one chicken and two mushrooms. You can use whatever way you like. If you like chicken better than mushrooms, then you can do that. And these condensed soups are fantastic for making a sauce. Um, there's store cupboard ingredients as well, so yes, it's not all fresh, but great, and the kids love this. I mean, it's a really good family meal. I feed my elderly parents, um, our great uncle sometimes, and my children, and this is the type of meal that I get out when it's for the whole family, and it's, um, it's going to keep everybody happy. So I just put my, um, I've just got my cans of chicken soup in there. And next I'm going to add some lemon juice. Okay, so I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice, I think about three. I'm gonna add some medium curry powder, okay? And I'm gonna add about three to four of these because it's gonna make double the portion. And I'm going to get my actually need quite a lot of this. So our next thing, which we're going to use mayonnaise, I told you there's not much uh, natural ingredients, but it is yummy. It's really good. And you can make it with anything you've got in the house. Okay. And we're going to need a couple of cups of these. So we're just measuring out a couple of cups. And you can use reduced fat mayonnaise if you decide that that's what you want to do. And actually I'm only going to use a cup and a half because I don't want to use two full cups. I can add some more in at the end if I think I need to. Like I say, this is a brilliant recipe. It's easy, it's quick, and when you cook this, when, it's de when you defrost it and you cook it, all those flavors are just going to come together. It's almost like a hot coronation chicken. And you've got your mushrooms and your broccoli in there, so it's really good for the kids. So as you can see there, it's all coming together. Okay, and I have got some button mushrooms. Now in this dish, I don't like to use frozen mushrooms. They don't seem to work very well when you defrost them. They go a little bit mushy. Much better to use whole mushrooms. And I'm not gonna cook these, okay? So I'm not gonna cook these because I want them once you actually um, defrost this and you cook it in a pan and you heat it up or you microwave it, it's actually enough to cook these mushrooms. Um, it's quite a sloppy dish, so you want a bit of texture in there. 
So all we're going to do now is get our broccoli off the stove and we've just cooked this in no more so it's still quite hard and we're going to throw it in the dish as well. Oops, we've got escapees, just give it a good mix around. And guys, that is bride's chicken. You're going to serve this with, you can serve it with some rice. A lemon wedge on the side is absolutely delicious. Um, you can serve it with new boiled potatoes if you want. Um, it's a fantastic dish to serve if you are cooking for a large amount of people. Say you've got people coming over for, I don't know, a birthday or something, um, and they're coming over during the day, then it's brilliant for that. Okay, so we'll just move some of this out of the way. We have our two portions. Now, in true batch lady style, we're going to put them in our freezable, sealable bags, okay? And I've already labeled this. Bride's chicken serve um, with rice and it cooks for four people. So when you're portioning out, I like a really good portion control. So when you're portioning out, you can use a cup, but I've already used my cup for my mayonnaise. I found a label, a, a ladle, sorry, that has the same size as what is a, what's in a cup, okay? 230 mils. And what I'm going to do is I know that a big ladle of this, I'll just make sure I've got a bit of everything in it, a big ladle of this is going to serve one person. So I know I need four ladles. So one, two, three. Now stay tuned, because I want to tell you with these similar ingredients, the next thing that I'm going to batch, because if you're batching, and you're doing this and you want to cook something else at the same time, then there's a list of things that are very good in order to do this, that you can then go on and cook other things. So for example, I think I'm gonna go on from this and probably cook a chicken curry, which is I use much of the same ingredients in terms of the chicken, the broccoli, quite often the mushrooms, the curry paste. So it's very easy to then go on and make a whole other dish because you've already got everything out on the counter anyway. Um, in fact, when I cooked this chicken, I cooked another tray of it because I thought I would cook um, some curry as well after it. So I'm just half portioning this out roughly. I've probably got slightly more than for four, so I'll add that to the bag. I'll sometimes put four to five. Quite often the children have friends over. Right, it's a messy thing portioning. Now let's move this to the side. And here we have, just tidy up our Ziploc bags, our freezable bags. Here we have two portions. That's how I sort of do it. Do they both feel the same? Oh, they feel roughly the same. I'm gonna half seal it, lay it flat, give it a good press out, all the way down, and seal it with no air in it. Now I've got wet hands, so it's quite hard to seal. That's it. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. Just give it a good press down. Start to seal it. It's already labelled. And there you go, guys. In true Batch Lady style, we have two portions for four to five people of bride's chicken. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please subscribe below and give me a big thumbs up. Send me some comments. I'd love to hear about them. You want the full recipe? Check it out on www.batchlady.com. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.